Okay, I'm back for more matter.js. It matter.js to me to make, uh, never mind. It, uh, it was gonna work, but it didn't. Okay, so what I wanna do, this is what I left off in the last video. And the thing that I wanna add to this is a mouse constraint. But you know what? <laughs> there's something that I really should add first, which is that even though um, there's all of these, uh, part, all these, I'm gonna call them particles, circles, and they leave, and then I add some more, I've never actually told my code or the matter.js engine that those circles have left the screen, we can now ignore them. So it's gonna start to run very, very slow after a while. So first of all, let me just change something here to demonstrate this, which is to say, instead of uh, adding circles when I uh, drag the mouse, I'm just gonna, every time through draw, I'm going to add a circle uh, at the top. Um, and just so there's gonna be a new circle every frame. So now it's doing this automatically, and you know I kind of want to move that top one a little further down. That's not really a good reason to do this, but uh, let's do that. Yeah, so this is a little better to sort of demonstrate, just to sort of see. So now I move that a little bit down. So we can see after a while, I'm sure this is gonna start running very, very, very slow. So two things I need to do. Number one is I need to remove those objects from my array when they're off the screen. But number two, I probably also need to tell the physics engine, stop trying to calculate geometry with them. So I know how to remove them from my array. So let's do that first. So here in this, this is where I'm kind of looping through and drawing all of them. So I can write, add some code, something like if circles dot is off screen, then, uh, then circles dot splice I comma one. So what, what, is, what is this doing? So this is the idea here. If, and not, if circles index I, if this particular circle is off the screen, then I'm done with it. And splice is a function that removes an object from an array. So I want to remove the i object from the array, and I only want to remove one object. So splice allows you to remove like i and then the two after it if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that here. So is off screen, this will just work, right? No, it has no idea what is off screen is. That's not some sort of function that exists, um, but it's something that I can write. So if I go into box.js, which really should be called circle.js. Um, I can write a function called is off screen. And what do I want to do? Well, first I want the position of the particle. So I can say var pause equals this.body.position. And now I can say, you know, there's a lot of things I could evaluate here, but I'm just going to do something really easy. If pause.y is greater than height plus like 100, like it's not only at the bottom, it's like 100 pixels below the bottom, then uh, return true. And yes, 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 yes. Actually, so let's do this here. Everybody always complains. I like to write silly code like this just to really kind of illustrate exactly what's going on. If this is true, return true, otherwise re return false. But notice the way I just said that. If this is true, return true, that's kind of silly. This whole thing evaluates to true or false. So something I can actually do to make my code a bit more concise is just return what this evaluates to. So return true or false. Is pause y greater than height? So, so now we should, this should kind of work. And it's actually, I, I'm expecting it to work. So let's just look here at, um, uh, what was this called? Circles.length, 144, 145. So that's, it's gotta be working, right? If it's 145 now, oh, whoa, but look what's going on. See all this like crazy flickering? What's that flickering? So this is why you need, that what I've done, there's a flaw in what I've done, a major flaw. And I do have a video where I go through this, but I'm gonna mention it right now because you don't wanna go find that other video. So what's the issue here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick explanation. Let's say I have an array and it has circles in it, A, B, C, D, and E. And C is actually the one that's off the screen. C is the one that's off the screen. A, B, D, et cetera, E are all on the screen. So I check Zero, oh, it's on the screen. I check one, oh, it's on the screen. I check two, oh, oh, it's not on the screen anymore. Delete it, so I remove it from the array. You know what happens when you remove something, splice something from the array? This is what happens to the array. That, those two elements move down one, that's gone. So now check three, it's fine. What happened? I checked A, B, C, and then I checked E. I never actually checked D, because when I was checking index two, I removed it, and then D slid into index two, so I just went on and checked E. So this is what's happening. I'm kind of like skipping them, and then 
I'm also like not rendering one because it like moved and it didn't get rendered, which is why it's flickering. So what I actually need to do, there's a bunch of ways I could resolve this. I'm sure there's like a very fancy JavaScript <laughs> using some kind of sophisticated array function that you could all let me know in the comments. But a quick way I could do is just go through the array backwards. I could also do something like just say i minus minus. Like let me just back up one. Let's add that into the code. And now we should see. We don't see that flickering problem anymore because I'm not skipping any. So, but I could also loop through the array backwards. Um, and now I can just check to make sure this is working. You know, it's growing, but then it went down. So definitely things are being removed. Now, the thing is though, I only removed them from, uh, I only removed them from the, 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 the array. I think matter.js is still thinking about them. There's still the world matters like, oh, this world is full of circles and I'm going to figure out if they're bouncing even though if they're like thousands of pixels below the screen. So I don't actually know how to do this. Let's look at the matter.js documentation. Ah, remove. Generic remove functions. Removes one or many bodies, constraints, or composites to the given composite. Optionally searching its children recursively. Oh, so there's all this kind of like ways that the bodies can have relationships, that things can be like sort of tethered together. If I remove one, should I remove all the other ones? But we're not in that sophisticated of a space right now. So I'm just going to say, I think what's going to work is if I go to a box, if it's off screen, what I might want to do is also do something like circles, because I might want to do this in other place, like uh, remove from world. Okay, you guys can think of a better function name for that. Uh, remove from world. Uh, so this dot remove from world equals function, and I'm just going to say world dot remove world this dot body. So I'm pretty sure that that, and there's a way that we can test this actually. So let's, um, let's run this. So there's how many, and I probably shouldn't have, let's, hold on. Let's, let's first comment this out. So right now I'm not calling my own remove from world. So I am going, and what are, I'm going to get rid of these console logging things that are uh, polluting my, um, um, probably in the boundary. Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, so there's my array, which is called circles. 136. Now there's also an array in matter, which I believe is probably bodies dot, or no, world dot bodies. I think the world itself keeps track of everything that's in it. That's an array dot length. 913, quick, circles dot length. 147. So you can see matter.js thinks there's 913 things, whereas I think there's only 147. So now what I should be able to do, and let's be more precise about this actually, let's just in draw, let's console log these. Console log uh, circles dot length. And then what did I say? A world.bodies.length. So let's look at both of these. So we can see that they're kind of working together until they start to leave the screen. My, I'm deleting stuff, but this just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. So now, what do I do? If I put back in my function where I am additionally not only removing it from my array, but telling matter.js to remove the body itself, I think we're going to see this now be correct. And there we go. Right? Uh, no, uh, wait, hold on. It's not exactly in sync. I mean, it's a little bit off. Why is it off? Oh, look at this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Something weird has happened. Look at this weird bug. Certain ones have stopped and been removed. I have a feeling this has to do with the way that I'm going through the array. Oh, I know what's the problem is. Look at this. Boy, I've been really careless. Uh, splice it and then remove. <laughs> I removed it from the array and then the stuff slid down and I told it to remove the one after it, which wasn't actually removed from the array. So that was a really bad bug. <laughs> this has got to be first. So there might be a, a different way I could think about organizing this to protect myself from that kind of error, but 
This, at least now, we should see, whoops, we should see this fixed. I'm in mouse, which I haven't even done yet. Okay, so let's look, let me refresh here. So let's see here. Now here we go. Once they start getting removed, we should see that they're staying in sync. Ah, uh, there we go. Now one thing you'll notice, if I just say no loop here, just to pause the sketch for a second, you'll notice that the thing, the number of things that matter.js thinks exist is always two more than what I think. That's because there's two boundaries. So this, there's, this is, I think, an interesting question, which is I've introduced a great deal of redundancy and I'm keeping track of my like own arrays of stuff, but matter.js actually keeps track of everything itself. But I'm doing that just so I can have total control over the sort of visual design and, and management of the entities and not have to rely on, because I want to keep these things in separate arrays, whereas matter.js, the bodies array keeps everything in one array. But you know, there's reasons why you might not do it one way or the other. But okay, so I said this was going to be that I was going to introduce the mouse, but there was enough here just in looking at removing bodies from the world that that was a pretty good topic for this video. In the next video, the next thing I'm going to add is a mouse constraint where I can click on these things and drag them around. So I'll see you in that video.